Hey everybody, this is Podcast 9.6, and we're going to start taking a look at translation of the DNA strands. So we've got our DNA transcribed into mRNA, okay, uh, and we need a way to turn that mRNA into a protein. Now, the whole point of this is that we're making a protein. Uh, so in order to read the mRNA strand, there are two tools that a cell has in order to do that. mRNA is read by uh, another type of RNA called T. RNA or translation RNA and it reads in sets of three bases or three base pairs and these are called codons C-O-D-O-N-S so a codon is a specific sequence of bases that gives um, instructions to build a protein and so genes or mRNA are big long strings of codons just like paragraphs are big long strings of words and letters and the building of a protein is helped by the ribosome. Okay, remember a ribosome is an organelle in the cell, and its job is to help uh, build protein um, as part of the cell. It all comes from the DNA. And so the first thing we need to look at is this diagram here, and this is a tRNA molecule. So this is tRNA. And it, it always has this shape. There's a couple loops on the side. It looks like a, like a plus sign or like a cross. And there's a few different regions that we need to know about. There's only one active site. Okay, one, and it's called an active site. And the active site is this down here at the bottom. It's highlighted right now. And it's hard to see on your paper, but this is called an anti-codon. So a codon is that three letter string in the mRNA an anticodon is the the complement to it so this is the opposite of the codon so it's the uh, opposite of a codon okay pretty easy so if your uh, codon for example is um, a u g your anticodon we'll do this in blue is going to be UAC. So this is the codon up here on the top and the anticodon on the bottom. So this would be in the mRNA. I'll go back to red. So the tRNA then would have the anticodon. So again, they're paired up. So this set would be shoop, right over here. Okay. The amino acid, which is the building block of a protein, goes on top. So this is where the amino acid would attach. Okay. And it attaches right here on the three prime end. And I'm going to show you an animation in just a second. But the tRNA is essentially, this is reading the mRNA and it's attaching the amino acids together to form a polymer. And this is a, a, just a very basic diagram of a ribosome. Okay, so this is a ribosome. And there's two units to a ribosome. You don't need to know what the units do. But there are three, like... Uh, slots or three holes in the ribosome and these are the binding sites and what they are they're like parking spaces for tRNA and I'm going to show you again a video or an animation in just a minute that shows how these binding sites work but essentially what happens is this mRNA okay with its codons is fed through a ribosome um, kind of like uh, like a key card at a hotel. When you slide your key card in, if it's the right code, it unlocks the door. Ribosomes kind of work like that. So as it goes through, tRNA will bind in the binding sites. So this is uh, tRNA bind here. And what they do is they bring the amino acids to build the protein. And so the ribosome facilitates that decoding of the strand. Um, and again, these... Uh, these read, or the ribosomes read, three bases at a time. And remember, a three-base string is called a codon. Okay, so we're going to take a quick look at a translation animation. So I'm on the website, and on the website, if you go uh, under Other Awesome Resources to the Translation Animation, and click on that, it will take you to this page. And so you can see down here, we've got an mRNA strand, okay? And it's already recoded into the mRNA codons. And we know we've got mRNA because we have a U here. So what happens, if we click through this, 
Remember, ribosomes come in two parts. There's a small subunit and a large subunit. So the first thing that has happened is a tRNA molecule has found this AUG sequence. That is the start sequence. The large ribosomal subunit then, or the big half of that, comes in and it facilitates the rest of the translation. So it, it forms this complex based on this AUG sequence. Okay. The next thing that happens is the next codon is red, and another tRNA comes in and matches the, with the anticodon. The amino acids then get linked up, and notice the one in the middle gets popped off to the one on the right. Okay, and then it moves down. This third slot here ejects a tRNA, gets rid of it and to be reused, while the one stays in the middle. The next codon is red, and they continue from there. Okay, and it moves down and it ejects the third code or the third tRNA again, and this another one comes in, reading these codons here on the bottom, each time adding a new uh, amino acid to the protein. Okay, so again, the ribosome just facilitates the process. The tRNA is actually doing the building. And then the last thing, okay, so again, here's a diagram of it. So you would have a tRNA and an mRNA down here with the codon and the anticodon on the tRNA. We know what the codes are for different amino acids. And so we use one of these charts. And so translation always starts, always, 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 with an AUG codon. Okay, so we're going to be looking for an A, a U, and a G in this chart up here. So if we have an AUG codon, the anticodon would be U, A, C. So that's your tRNA, and that's easy. Now the amino acid comes from this chart up here on the top. So we're looking for the AUG. So we go from left to top to right. So we're looking for an A, which means we're going to be in this third column somewhere. Our second codon is the U, so I go A and then U, so I'm in this box. And then the G, so over here on the right, we've got UCAG, so down on the bottom, we have this, let me circle that, this amino acid called methionine, or M-E-T. This is always a starting sequence, always, always, always. So we're looking for the AUG. Trans translation does not happen until the tRNA sees the AUG first. Uh, so doing another one, like UUA here, the tRNA codon would be AAU, or the opposite. So looking for the, the amino acid going from the codon here, so U, U, and then an A would be the third one down. So LEU here, or leucine, goes from that. So you can finish that chart on your own. But what I want you to think about, I'm also going to be checking this when I come around, is what do you notice about the amino acid chart? Is there only one combination of bases for each amino acid? And then why are there multiples? And this is going to kind of lead into the next section. So thinking about that, go ahead and finish these last tRNA anticodons and find the amino acids for it. And then we'll be talking about that question at the bottom when you come back to class.